Today we'll talk about Dark Surrender. I had just written two Regency set Gothic historical romances, both with a paranormal twist. This time, I wanted to subvert that trope and take what looks like a paranormal twist and give it a deadly but very real explanation. I also wanted to try my hand at a non-innocent, non-virginal heroine. I feel so much emphasis is placed on the innocence of any given heroine that too often her virginity defines her self-worth, and I wanted to subvert that too. There isn't anything Violet hasn't done, true, but it doesn't take away her value as a person. It makes her stronger. It makes her awesome. Alistair Waldegrave is in a no-win situation. He can't tell anyone about his daughter's condition because they'll kill her. So he's the only one who can hunt for a cure. But if he's out searching for answers, he's not with his daughter, which leaves her with no one. Enter Violet Whitechapel. She's not your typical 1800s miss. She grew up on the streets, and anything that could happen to her, did. She's strong, she's determined, most of all, she's a survivor. She's also on the run for killing a man who is assaulting a child. None of these people can risk opening their hearts, but they're going to have to. In this book, it's more of a favorite sequence than a favorite scene. Violet goes from the past determining who she was to her actions determining who she is, and Lillian grows from a plucked and dying flower to a tiger lily, beautiful and strong. Okay. <clears throat> Survivor. <laughs> Good take.